Hey, this is SJ. This is a man of find he finds his wife cheating after she comes home. Let me play the clip for you. Good. Right quick. How you feeling? I'm okay. Thanks for tonight. So she was this motherfucker with a dude last night. This motherfucker. Hold on. No problem. When can we link again? So she linked me. Okay, so soon as I'm free from my baby daddy. Oh, I feel that. Was he tripping when you came in? No, he sleep. I ain't sleep no more. I need to take a bath, cause Lord, this should take a bath. Man. This is more my. Oh, I can't even. Boy, I can't even feel my damn boy. I'm about to pass out of this mess. Oh my gosh. I need to take a bath, cause Lord, what? We did too much this morning. The dude say, no, nah, we did enough. Did you pull out? Oh, uh, uh, you got me. Uh, hold on. Did you pull out? <sighs> Boy, I might catch a case tonight. Say, did you pull out? Don't do that. Yeah, why are you asking that? I'm just asking because this really too much. We should be in a conversation. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, so they went raw. Nah, she really got me messed up, man. Mm, mm, mm. I was just about to. Nice looking young man. Oh, we was too into it. No, that can't happen. I don't care how into it we was. You all right? You good, though? Yeah, I'm good. Did you make it home? Yeah, I did. I had to clean up the hotel. So they had a hotel last night. That's why she went. That's why her location was off. Ah, uh, it's making sense now. Nah. You read it too, so? Yeah, I did. I had to. I put the bed covers outside the door because them things was wet. Hello, I had. I already know you always had me like that. Mm, this mm, your mm. girl make it home before you. Oh, so this dude got a girl, so they playing the game. So he knows she. Oh, they both know they in a relationship. Man, who this dude is, bro? I know. Oh. No, no, she, yeah, she did, but my girl, I don't care for real. She know about it. So she, mm -hmm. this girl, in the go. You, you gotta go. Bro, take your phone. Look at your phone. Look at your phone. Go look at your phone. Go look at your, phone. Go look at your last message in your phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, open it up. Look at your phone. Oh, Where you was last night? I told you I was out with my friends. You was out with your friends? Yeah. Bro, open your phone up. I don't think I should do that. Like, I don't think I should have to do that. Like, it's too much. Like, it's too early in the morning for me. Why you on the phone? Because I don't want to wake you up. So you come in the house at 5 in the morning. Open your messages. What you do? Open your messages. Um, bro, I'm about to go get that knife. Open your messages. Why call women, bro? Oh, what? Like, whatever you say, you say Why do men call women, so you bro? Hotel last night? No, I got somebody's number. Oh, you play with me. You play with me. Nigga. Who's this? Who's this? this Who you take this? Who is that? That's your ex? Why are you acting so sleepy and you just got in the house? Um, because, I mean, I was in, I've been in the house for like an hour. And I told you this. Bro, you see these messages? You it's, can't hide this, bro. There's somebody I met last night. And I so was, you just slept with a random dude last no, night? No, I didn't sleep with him. Bro, the messages say y'all was at the hotel last night, bro. He lying. Why'd you playing with me? Where is it at? She lying. She's still lying. Where is it at? Bro, this is crazy. It's somewhere up there. I'm not, I'm not dumb. First of all, that's my homegirl. Man, that's right? a whole dude, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. She didn't want her friend, her home, her home, I mean, Man, her look at this, bro. Friend. See, I can't even talk. It's, it's yes. So you really gonna sit up here and lie like that? This is your messages. You texting in my house. You was here at five. This ain't your homegirl. So you say I, your homegirl got connected to your phone? I'll just go. Huh? I'll just get up and go. You better. You need to get up out of here, bro. I feel like it's too early. Go pack your bags. Go get your bags. All right. You need to get up out of here, bro.
Oh, 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 he hit you behind your head. Boy, I ain't even lying to you. Oh, oh, I'll pop you behind your head. No, don't do don't that. Like that. Don't do that. Like, you, really, you really tried that. Mm-hmm. You really tried that, bro. But if I if I spill off on you, then what? I'm wrong. Yeah, they can't take it. Because that's all you did. Like, I just feel like I have to get that off my chest. You got to get off your chest. Yes, you are wrong. You came here, threw stuff all in the closet, take off. And this, yeah, this, yeah they can't take it. What you mean? Bro, who 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 the dude is, bro? Cause I'm about to pop you, bro. For what? Who the dude is? Why does it matter? Maybe I can just go back over there since I was too confused. Are you playing with me now? Are you playing with me now? You playing with me now? Who the dude is, bro? I don't know. Dog, that's your ex, huh? Y'all still playing with me, huh? Y'all still playing games, right? Oh, it's like I was playing games, so I was just, I was just trying to get some of my shit. Because you want to go through my phone. Oh. Everybody find out stuff. So. Like, everybody, you know, that's how you... Bruh, I will really, dog. You really play on so me right now, bruh. What you doing? You really play? It's like, it's, man, off, it's early. Man, you like, really play on me, bruh. Alright, so you want to get my stuff together? Man, get your stuff, bruh. Pack All your right. stuff. You need to get up out of my house. Why man, he calling man. her bro? You gotta get up out of here. And what are clothes that you had on last night? What are you? Yeah, dirty clothes. Damn, dirty clothes. Yeah. Man, get out of here. I don't even want you to grab nothing. Just get out of here. You don't want me to grab nothing. Just get out of here, bro, because I'm about to hit you. Okay. No, don't do that. Yeah, bro. Finally, take the answer. You really got the wrong one. I don't care. I don't care. Get up out of here, bro. Leave up my house. So you guys got the gist of, of that. Uh, um, y'all put your shim covered under fair use here. Um, you got you guys got the gist. He found some text messages on his girlfriend's. I'm assuming this is a girlfriend phone, girlfriend's phone, and it it was very clear by the text messages that she's cheating. And now he's putting her out. Now nah, he shouldn't be. Uh, he wants to be get violent. And he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be putting his hands on her. Just let her go. Just cut her loose. Uh, why do these men? Why do men call women bro? I I'm, I don't know. I'm I'm a Gen X. So I'm, I guess I'm old fashioned. I, I guess I'm old school. But. I guess, I guess, I don't know. I guess that's a figure of speech, but that's, that sounds weird to me. Why do men call women bro? <laughs> I know that's a figure of speech, but that's just weird to me. Anyway, I guess I'm old school. But, um, anyway, the point, the point of this, me playing this clip is that, and I made a point, I made that point in another video. Men have a zero tolerance for a woman cheating they can dish it out but they can't take it when a woman cheats he expects for her to forgive him take him back and it, it, it no matter how many time he times he do it he expects that woman to sit there and just take it and keep taking him back and a lot of women do it let's face facts women are more tolerant to cheating than men is how many times have you heard a woman take a man back time and time again or stay with a man after he's cheated multiple times i was one of those women that did that you know that's what he doing but you still stand with that man until you get to the point to where you're tired then you're done Men don't play that. Men have a zero tolerance. If you cheat one time, you're out. They're, you're out in their book. You notice that? You notice that men have a zero tolerance for women cheating? But more often times than not, women, women will sit there and put up with it. Some women have a zero tolerance, but a lot of women will stay with the man regardless. Yeah. But you don't hear of too many men doing that. You don't hear of too many men putting up with a woman cheating. You you really don't hear of that. 
but you but you will hear of, of a lot of women putting up with men cheating and uh, um, uh, I think um, Joe was it Joe's Lowell she made the point that women need to raise their standards just like men do women need to know their worth just like men do and have a zero tolerance when it comes to cheating if he cheats on you one time he need to be out the door because isn't that the standards it, that's the standards that they hold us to mm -hmm. if we cheat one time we out the door let's face facts ladies they can dish it out but they can't take it they can dish it out all day long but they can't take it they expect us to be forgiving because of, he's a man. What difference does it make? Cheating is unacceptable for anyone to do. It's not acceptable for a man to do it. It ain't acceptable for a woman to do it. Let's face facts. But they want you to forgive them. They want you to overlook it. They want you to stay with them. That's Let's face facts, ladies. That's what women are expected to do. That's what we're expected to do. We're expected to put up with it. But men, mm -mm, they don't play that. If you cheat one time, you out the door. And they lose all respect for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My ex told me he cheated with me throughout the whole relationship. But he said if I had a did it, he would have lost all res respect. He got his nerve. Mm-hmm. My ex told me that. One of my exes told me that. Yeah. He cheated on me throughout the whole relationship. But he said if I had done it, I, he would have lost all respect for me. Make it make sense. So that means you can dish it out, but you can't take it. Mm-hmm. And that's the mentality that a lot of men have. They think that if they cheat on you, you're supposed to put up with it and still be with them and all that. You're supposed to just deal with it. But if they, if you cheat, the tables are turned, and you cheat on them, mm -mm, they ain't putting up with that. You out the door. You, in rare cases, you will hear, you will hear in rare cases of a man putting up with it. But nine times out of ten, your average man is not going to put up with it. You cheat one time, it's unacceptable, and you're out the door. Now, ladies, you know I'm telling the truth. And men, you know I'm telling the truth. It's a double standard. And women, what women, as women, we need to raise the bar just like these men have. Women need to have the same standards that these men have. We need to have the same high standards that these men have. And we need to have a zero tolerance for cheating. If he cheats first time, he you find out, he's out the door. Have the, we need to have the same standards that they have. We need to have the same self-worth that they have. Bottom line. Raise the bar. Just like the, the bar, the, they raise the bar on us, women, we need to have the same standard for them. We need to hold them to the same standard that they hold us to. So I just wanted to, I, I wanted to play that clip. And, and um, yeah, I just, I just, Notice how when he found out, she's out the door. As soon as he found out, she's out the door. But how many women, how many times did they expect women to put up with it? Okay, hit me up in that comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are. Like, subscribe, and share. Till the next video.